I just want to start by thanking a couple people who made this all possible, uh, namely Miss Bridget, Ivan, and Dwayne, and everyone else else works in the black office, uh, back office, Tony Frank, obviously, and the rest of the school administration, my family, and all the, the artists that presented today, and all the artists we also have in Fort Collins, the No Coast Collective, and everyone who makes uh, free speech and expression possible. In the 21st century, we are scared of racism. Whites don't want to be called racist, blacks don't want to be hated, a small portion of both secretly wish it persist in. Neither really knows exactly what it consists of, so to some it's a myth and to others it's a glyph to be deciphered. But with all the wisdom of the ancients wasted on the brainless, we have the blind leading the blind, reading boils like braille. There's a message in this sickness, and I don't know who to tell. Because in black circles, I'm a square male. In the white circles, I'm a thug still. They say aliens built the pyramids for to give credence to a black male packing bricks without ending up in a jail cell. To my black friends, I'm like Seinfeld. Blame direct diction that's applied well. To my white friends, I'm like Cornell. What's the Kanye, but don't dress as well. So if I gotta be white on the inside, call me John Brown. Just realize I got a pitchfork and an arsenal. Abolitionist and I ain't well with a blunderbuss. I never sold retail, but my line sell like Nike Souls. I never sold my soul for some shell toes. I'm marching on Harper's Ferry, barefoot and teeth bared. If I've gotta be white, just not right. Like Harper Lee with a loose leaf and an ink well. I speak well. Like Seneca or Cicero, counter-revolutionaries fall under the power of my prose. If I'm too black, <laughs> If I'm too black, then let it be. I'm like a witch doctor with jeweled teeth. I'm like Ali mixed with Stokely. I'm like Frederick Douglass meets Fannie Lou. Like Sojourner Truth and Shabazz too. My skin black as the carbon stone. This is my land. I ain't moving on. From 40 thieves for the devil sees the mass of million men for the odds of March. I'm like Farrakhan meets Noble Drew. I'm like Huey Freeman and Newton too. But sometimes I wonder if y'all really know what I'm going through when they say I'm target practice for the boys in blue and a chew tour for a canine. Then I ain't fit for college trips. I need a Glock 9 and fit for fair time. I was 11 years when I was told by peers I was only fit to be strange fruit and if they had a rope they lynched till I croak but I was a joke I guess I'm thin-skinned and I don't think I've ever seen my people more defeated like black Jews straight out of Egypt on their way to the promised land I don't think progress is quick enough to match their demands I guess history and is interesting as a hashtag or a Twitter tweet we got all these internet activists I'm still wondering what well, we're gonna have on scholarships I'm not saying I'm a star to rob our people of opportunity but can't one man tell me that we can't be a more peaceful people there's no color for evil if the FOI can sell bean pies and convert addicts into adamant preachers, then I think there's more we can do for the next generation of black leaders that sell dope and play slaves, that sell coke and let flags wave. We can blame Whitey till he stop fighting, but I doubt that'll put us any higher. So heed my words like I was Elijah, like my chariot scorch heaven's horizon. We won't escape this until we part with these low standards and moral decay. I've seen more hammers in my people's hands than I've seen pampers and we're wondering why our kids dying. We got fakes reciting street fables like lullabies of lucid lies that live behind the guise of pride. Liars, lames, young thugs postured under designer lions hide a Gucci mane. I need a double cup topped off with Zam Zam just to wash out all my sins, fam. I swore to the Lamb of Bethlehem my Uma would not fall by my hand save for those knaves who threatened the task at hand. So I'm crying out to my people from Iran to Inglewood, from Bel Air to Baton Rouge, from Mali to Mexico, from Singapore to Ecuador, from the Vatican to Compton, that racism is not a fiction. Racism is not an excuse. Racism may provide privilege, but racism does not eschew more responsibility or relevant social progress. How relative social progress seems to be lost the more racism passes. Everyone is scared of racism. We fear what we don't understand and what control is in high demand. You use whatever's at hand. So racism may be colorblind, but it's not colorbound. Simply be aware that some black stairs hold more hate than the Klansmen getting to heaven and seeing Christ's halo rest on nappy hair. And some white stairs hold more love than most of our fathers showed to us. So racism is kind of complicated, kind of sophisticated for a sickness. But racism at the end of the day will be conquered only by spirits, kindred, eyes open and hearts bared. We must learn to hear what we'd rather not and realize that we were chosen for this trial for this time and for the triumph down the line. We are the true and living, and we will never die. Peace be